How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now you know I'm usually up there when I make these videos but it's currently 95 degrees in southeast Texas with a humidity of like 90 percent and a feels like 105 degrees outside. But nonetheless this video has got to be made. I have made a huge huge change to the Lincoln Mark 8. I know about a month ago I made a video about this car, kind of just welcoming it back to the channel. It has been off of the channel for years. It has been years. Uh, if you have not seen that video, go check it out. I also went and took the car to get an oil change, tire rotation. If you want to check that video out, it's also on the channel. But yes, basically in that first video that I made, I kind of answered why the car was gone for so long and also what is wrong with the car and why I couldn't drive it and the other little small issues here and there. Now in the Mark 8 community the modification that I made is a very 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 controversial one. I myself have kind of been on the side of air ride only, air ride only. If you want to swap the coils, you might as well just go buy a Thunderbird or a Cougar. However, <laughs> uh, due to recent issues with, well not recent, but everlasting issues with the air ride system that I've had on this car since I've bought it, yes, I have finally made the switch to coils. No more air suspension, no more check air ride, no more none of that. Enough was enough and I just could not battle the system any longer. 
The car was parked about two years ago with air ride troubles. The air compressor, for whatever reason, would not cut on. I tried a million different things, but ultimately in the end, I, I, I tried numerous different things to try and fix the system. I even wired up my own little thing to where I could manually control the system just to kind of keep it at level ride height so that I could actually drive the vehicle. But nonetheless, the system in of itself left the car parked for two to three years. This car was parked for two to three years due to the air ride system. So to answer your question, you may have, why would you make the swap? Or some of you, you should have did it a long time ago. I know I'm gonna hear that in the comments section. Oh, you should have did it a long time ago. Now the benefit to the air ride system is obviously the ride quality on these cars. When that system is sorted, it rides, drives, handles like you would not believe. And that simple factor right there is why people are scared to swap from the air suspension setups on these cars. Because they ride amazing, not only do they ride amazing, but they do handle amazing as well. They kind of have the best of both worlds, whereas when you swap the coils, you kind of have one thing. They handle better and they kind of ride like shit. At least that's what I thought for the longest time. Now I have owned four of these cars, four Lincoln Mark 8s, two Gen 1s, and two Gen 2s. Two of which were on Arnett coils all the way around on all four sides, and I absolutely hated it. The car rode and drove like an absolute boat. It was smooth, but it was way too floaty and way too boaty. On this one, I decided to spend the money. I told myself if I'm gonna change the system, if I'm gonna swap the system from air to coils, I'm not cheaping out on this. So I went over to the uh, Super Coupe Performance website and on there they have Strutmaster's Glide Ride, they have factory ride height, and they have one inch lowering springs for all four corners. I went with the one inch lowering, which I have noticed the front sits about an inch higher than the rear. I'm not exactly sure why that is. But nonetheless, I finally made the swap. Now what most of you are probably here for and you are wondering, how does it drive? Well, like I said, I did have an air ride car. When I first purchased this car, the air ride system was flawless, phenomenal. It automatically adjusted. The adaptive steering worked like it should have. Everything with the system worked as it should. Now, comparing that to swapping over to the Strutmaster's Glide Ride, in every single category, this strut setup is better. In every single category, this is better. Now people hanging on to air ride love the ride quality. They love how they drive. I'm here to tell you I was one of those people. Now that I have made the swap, it rides smoother. It handles better. The car is way more composed. There is little to no body roll anymore with this setup. For the longest, I did not want to sacrifice ride quality and handling, which the air ride system does both. Now that I have bought a quality coil setup, I can tell you that it was worth ditching the air ride. No, I won't have the novelty of the adaptive steering working anymore because when you delete the air system, that control module controls both. No longer will have adaptive steering and I will no longer have the ability that when the car jumps on the highway, it automatically lowers and raises. But you know what? <laughs> I am totally okay with getting rid of all of that. Because the number one thing that this system does, the, the best thing about this system is that I can grab the keys to the car, I can open the door, I can shut the door, I can turn the key, turn the car on, put it in drive, and drive wherever, whenever, with no anxiety of the system failing and leaving me stranded. That in of itself is the greatest perk of making the swap. I can get in the car, turn the key, put it in drive, and drive the car whenever I please.
That is not something that I could say about my air suspension setup. Now, when it was right, when it was working 100% completely, it was amazing. But like I've said, this system here does everything better than the air ride system. Not only is it better, but it is reliable and you will never have to worry about the car leaving you stranded because of the dreaded check air ride message. The ride quality is better. It handles, I mean, it's night and day. It handles like a sports car. And if you're asking what do I know about a car that handles, my 2017 Ford Mustang GT that I've got four performance racing track struts and springs on all the way all four sides. This car, not as good as that car, but this car is very, very close in the handling department to that car. Not better than my Mustang GT, but it definitely holds its own. And what this car does better than my Mustang, which is why I love these cars so much, is they can just eat up those highway miles. Now, if you are on the fence about doing the swap, going from air to coils, do not cheap out. Now, to answer the age-old question, the question that causes many, many fights and arguments in the forums and the comments sections everywhere, which system is better, air ride or coils? And the ultimate answer to that question is it is your preference. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. In my opinion, in my very humble opinion, and with saying this, it does hurt me to say this, I have been an air ride guy forever through and through, but I hate to say it, this Strut Masters Glide ride coil system is better in every single way. Now, thank y'all, thank everyone for watching, thank y'all for tuning in, and like I said, that is my humble opinion. And again, thank y'all for watching. Peace out.